What's up, everybody? This is Dallas Doan here, and today you might have heard that uh, Algorithmic and Adobe have joined together. Algorithmic has joined Adobe's uh, family of suites. Uh, right now, currently, not too much info just yet, so there's not too too much to talk about. But just wanted to kind of share my thoughts and opinions on this. You know, this can be a bit scary, right? And some of you might share the same feeling as I do. Uh, you know, we don't want our products that we love to go through too many changes. We, we like it f for what it is. And when um, a, a big company like uh, Adobe comes in and acquires it, we're afraid that they're going to make big changes. In the announcement letter that uh, Algorithmic sent out, they said the companies and the teams will not be changing. So fingers crossed this is true for all of us artists who use Substance heavily in our workflow. Uh, in my opinion, I think this is a very smart move on Adobe's part. You know, I think they realize that they're falling behind when it comes to um, the games industry or the film industry, where studios are slowly not really using them when it comes to like texture work. Um, so I think that, you know, because they're becoming less relevant compared to, you know, a decade ago or even five years ago, um, that this is a smart move for them to stay ahead of the curve and to, um, again, be to essentially future-proof themselves, right? For Algorithmic, obviously, they just got paid, right? Like, they haven't disclosed how much uh, Adobe had purchased them for or how much money that they gave, right, to, be, um, to join together. But my guess is going to be this had to be a ridiculous amount of money for <clears throat> for Substance and Algorithmic. Just because Algorithmic, if I had to guess, they were doing just fine, right, um, financially. And that's just a guess. I can be completely wrong. Algorithmic might not have been doing fine at all financially. But uh, from what it looked like from the outside perspective, it looked like they were doing just fine. You know, Algorithmic started off as a very small company, and this kind of reminds me of you know when big v video game studios you know buy out um, smaller ones, right? And one of the biggest things that happens is you know at the end of the day, who's going to call the shots, right? Algorithmic is now part of Adobe, so does that mean that Adobe gets to kind of do the final call? Um, we don't know, right? And so it's going to be very interesting in the next few months and year, uh, and the next year or two to see how this kind of translates. So yeah, so I'm very interested to see what kind of tools and integrations Photoshop will have with Substance and vice versa. You know, it'd be so cool to have, you know, Substance Painter have like a pen tool um, for you to be able to um, swap between the programs very very quickly or integrate some of the cool stuff in uh, Photoshop that Photoshop does really well in substance and I don't think I'll ever go back to to Photoshop to do texture work um, the only odd times that I do want to do that is uh, if I need to um, do very precise things in Photoshop that you just couldn't do in substance painter so it'd be really cool to be able to to press a button and bring the texture into Photoshop in layers already and then that way you can just do a bunch of really quick fixes in Photoshop and then be able to shoot it back into Substance uh, Painter or, or, or Designer either or so we'll see we'll see what the, what um, the next month month or so is gonna, is gonna look like obviously the big change that everyone is talking about from what I've seen is uh, are the licenses and you know the subscription model how is it going to work now right is it gonna i know for now it's staying the same and they've said that in their announcement but um changes are on the way right so um they did promise that there's gonna be more flexible subscriptions but that doesn't really tell us much so here's to having um cheaper solutions or um like like they're saying flexible solutions so we'll see and um, I can't wait to to figure that out because um, currently I purchase 
uh, substance painter and substance designer through Steam. And the reason why I like that is because I don't need to, um, like everything's in one place. So I already have Adobe uh, Creative Cloud. So I'm wondering if now they'll have the Creative Cloud or whatever it may be. But uh, I really hope that they have quote unquote more flexible means um, cheaper alternatives or cheaper plans, student plans, all those things. Um, and that they're generous, that they're generous. That's the big thing is that they're generous with their pricing. Love to know what your thoughts are down in the comments below. Um, if you like the video, give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.